Copy avatar bounding is a tool that we use when, for, when, for example, sometimes it happens that on some avatars you see parts of their body disappear when you look at them at certain angles. I'm pretty sure you've seen that before. It happens all the time. And why is that? It's because the bounding box is too small. And a bounding box is this uh, white rectangle thing. And we want to resize it so it includes the whole avatar and also so it includes the avatar if for example you're putting your legs in front of you so we click on one of the meshes that we have for example the pants and we're going to edit bounce and now you find these little squares and you drag drag it out and you have to look at it from a specific angle to see them. So I think that's enough. From the other side, I'm going to do the same. Also going to give myself a bit more space on my hands. That's good enough. Same on this side. And on, uh, on my head, it should be a bit more. A bit more even. Yeah, that should be fine. So after we're done editing the bounding box, which should very nicely include the whole avatar, I'm gonna stop editing. And now we're going to tools, just unity tools, copy bounding. And you drag the mesh you just edited the bounding box in, into the source. And as a root, you click and drag your avatar. And you copy boundings from source to all objects in root. One click, there we go. Then you check all your meshes and see if the bounding box is the same and includes the whole avatar. It's a very simple tool, but it saves a lot of time because if you were to edit these by hand all the time, you would go crazy. So definitely use this.